Oh, the wind is blowing. I feel a frost. How you say that in Montenegrin? Kami. Inya. <laughs> 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 vala nay nay, vala slay slay. What country is that? Slovenia. And I ain't standing on top of the ladder. I'm under the ladder. Yeah. How fitting for Ukraine. That is right. We need to talk about Montenegro, Slovenia, and Ukraine. Are you ready? Let's do this. That is right. Oh, our voices are weak, but the feelings are strong. We continue with second rehearsals here inside the Altice Arena with Montenegro. Let me tell you, this is classy. In the Battle of the Balkans, Serbia just got slayed. Montenegro is bringing soul, fire, tradition, a beautiful voice, and a bright blue suit. A that beautiful man, honey. Oh, honey. <laughs> Stunning inside and out. My favorite line of the Eurovision preseason, Tell me, do you have a message? Oh, sorry. Tell me. I'm Debenada Rimi. Do you have a message for your fans? But I have no fans. But I have a message. And that message is coming through. Power of music, honey. I love this. This is the Balkan act that should go through the most in terms of quality and overall presentation. Yeah, and I'm loving the Jack Frost realness. Yeah! And the, like, the suit. It could be look ridiculous and tacky and gaudy but it doesn't no. and somehow it suits him but like he has the features to carry it off you could imagine him being like in a in a christmas movie for children almost Ooh, yeah. and like he's but jack frost can often be a villain but he doesn't come across as a villain he comes across as a man whose heart has been broken and then he has kind of the the four women around him i'm not sure what exactly their roles are whether they're sirens or angels mm. But they, they beautiful accessories, honey. Puerto Rico to Las Vegas, honey. Yes, but they're more than mere accessories, Devin, because they they help get him out of the frost. And but everything is do, done so well. Like even the lighting makes it look like he has blue hair, and then it tells the story. We don't understand Montenegrin, but the lighting tells us that it is but sad you feel. because of the lighting, which is blue. And then you go yes. as it brightens and it becomes orange, and the music lifts. It gives it lift, it gives it life. Amen, hallelujah, Devin, take us home. Vanya <laughs> Radovanovic really touches me. Yes. From the core, this mm. is such a beautiful story. It warms up and you can actually see and feel the evolution on stage as the colors change. If you're looking for fireworks, look away. But if you appreciate subtle beauty, it's in abundance here, and I think this is what makes this a really strong entry. We're going to do a separate video after this, but this is definitely among my biggest growers of the oh, year. Oh, growers, showers, doers, slayers. In any case, we move on to Slovenia. Can we please just do the dance? Vala, nay, 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 nay. Vala, nay, 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 nay. This gets stuck in your head and in your body. Urban swag. She was on point in the first rehearsal and she is on point now wait a minute can you hear the oh. music can someone please help me out guys help. vala nay 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 vala, nay. vala delay because halfway through <laughs> she has this kind of break in the music and she's like oh my god the music went out you guys help me and it's a little cringe at the moment let's be honest yeah. but when the audience goes into the motion they start seeing the lyrics then maybe it will be more powerful um because i literally i still get confused i'm like oh is she kidding mm. is she joking and it's starting to show that she's acting because like it's a little too forced like oh my god you guys Hey, you guys, can someone help me? But she will sort this out. It'll be better on the night. I think this is a real threat to qualify. Or rather, it has a great chance to qualify. Because it's a fun entry that gets stuck in your head. Yeah, because when we're in the press center, when you hear her go for the fourth or fifth time being like, guys, help me, you kind of just have to roll your eyes. But obviously, people at home won't have this issue because they will just see her once. Um, it's very effective. It grabs your attention because I just have to think back to the first time we heard it. Yeah. And we were all genuinely like, what's happened? What have they done? Um, Does she need an aspirin, an ibuprofen? <laughs> yeah, and it, it worked. So, like, we're a bit jaded by the whole thing now. Yeah. It was slicker. The start is very effective. There's a lot of frenetic mm, yes. cuts. Um, she owns the stage, her posse of dancers own the stage, she knows what she wants. I still think the message is diluted a bit by being in Slovenian, but it's definitely 
up there with the contenders. Maybe not quite a definite qualifier, but knocking on that door. I'm stripping down because my girl Leia makes me sizzle. Bernardo oh. Tavares Pereira, come say Quickly hello. Quickly come, quick, come. Quick, quick, quick. Hey, Vala Ne, Vala Ye, Vala Slay. Vala Slay and Vala Ye. <laughs> so no Vala Ne. No Vala Ne. Ne, Vala Ne, Ye, Vala Slay. Valesley. Okay, we got it, honey. <laughs> Thank you, Portuguese correspondent Bernardo Tavares Barrera. Final thoughts, Devin, on Slovenia. Slovenia for me only took off actually when meeting her in person. William, you interviewed her very recently yes. and honestly the chemistry between both of you and Love when her. I jumped on the sofa, it, it, you've never seen anything Fire. like it. Last night I covered the Eurovision Village and she actually closed the show. People went crazy for her. Bananas. And at the start of her performance she was going, where are the Slovenians in the arena? Well, that's what I thought. Surely there must be loads. Hardly any. But everybody was singing along, everybody was chanting, everybody was Vala, nay, nay, nay. But truly, it's a Vala yay, yay, yay. Vala nene leaks if you get that Hello Atlanta. <laughs> All right, we move on to the final country in this set. The last act to rehearse today, that was Mel Melovin mm -hmm. from Ukraine. That piano is on fire, and I mean that literally. The flames were burning bright. Yes, the flame is burning. I like the beginning with the piano. The double-tiered piano is actually a coffin. Today, the cracks in the coffin are illuminated. There are lights on the edges, giving it an extra ghoulish Halloween feel as this beautiful porcelain vampire emerges from those ivories. He flies. You can have your garlic out. You can have your dagger and your cross. Ain't nobody gonna stop this vampire from slaying. This was fantastic. This had energy. This had life. This had sex appeal. This had charisma. Oh, sex appeal. If he came knocking on your door, would that be trick or Suck tree? my blood, honey. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. But honestly, if I were in some kind of Halloween fantasy horror, I would submit. Trick or treat, Porrick. Oh. <laughs> this for me, ah, uh, it's a tough one. It has a strong editorial quality. When I'm looking on the screen, that porcelain skin and the glass eye, everything awesome. is just working editorially. And he wears a tux, doesn't he? He does. And it comes from under the ladder and the, it's, it's very good. Real strong standout visual moments. This, the chorus to me is just a bit of a letdown. I do like the, the the lead up, the run, you know, the run up to the chorus. You know, um, how does the song go again? No, that's the chorus. That is epic. That is so good. So for me, this is like love in two parts. You know. There are moments when I truly love it and there are moments when I'm just like resisting a major letdown. However, this will qualify, yep. this will do well, and this has strong press appeal because lots of people here do go crazy when it comes on the screen. Well, I be loving my loving Ooh. because it's like, yeah, 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 fuego. Because he has, he, he rivals Eleni and AWS for the use of fire. Because they kind of, Eleni has the fire coming out of her body. AWS had the fire coming out of everywhere. He has the fire coming out of the steps up to his piano. So, mm. like, just the fact that, the like, I don't get the symbolism. Because he's in the coffin. The coffin opens up and it turns itself into the piano. So whether he feels the piano is his coffin, I don't know. But anyway... He goes up the He's so abstract beyond reasoning. This is a man that thinks that Halloween and Alexander McQueen produces <laughs> Melvin. Melvin. I mean, you can't really take his narrative seriously. But I'm, what's under your ladder? Well, I don't know what's under my ladder, but I know what's on his steps is lots and lots of fire. And that grabs my attention and that has the heat. But his vocals, his look, everything is so memorable. And I, don't, I think the chorus is very strong. It's strong. And it's a great closer to the semi-final. It is the chorus, Deb and Adorimi from WeBeBlogs.com. I can hum it for you now. As your good friend and reference point, Tamara Galakachalazi, would say, you need to keep the faith. Keep the faith, hunty. Like, I'm so distracted right now because I keep watching the television. I don't think this is the winner. I had this, like, 
twisted fantasy that maybe he would win, but like I don't think this is it's a winner. A, it's a bit all over the place to win, yeah. but it's going to do well. It's going to do very well. And this visual... As Ukraine always does. They get it. Do you celebrate Halloween in May? Are you loving Ukraine? Is it vala ye, vala ne, vala slay for you? And do you got some frost on your windshield? <laughs> Turn up the heat. Let us know here on Wee Wee Blogs. If you're here for the seasonal confusion between the frost and Halloween, make sure to subscribe for lots more madness. Yes! And don't just subscribe, follow our journey in Lisbon. It gets more exciting. We're constantly tweeting, we're on Instagram, we're on Pinterest, Snapchat, YouTube, Tumblr, and we are organizing a party called the Wee Wee Jam. You've wee Wee to the to Jam. May 9th. We hope you bought tickets because there aren't any more, which makes <laughs> us sad. In any case, we will see you later. Bye! Bye.